Hey, you folks. I'd like to discuss an interesting topic centered around streaming to Twitch using either your GPU encoder or a separate streaming machine. In the background is some Rainbow Six Siege terrorist hunt unrealistic lone wolf. Don't worry, I'm not going to survive. The recording was done entirely with my GPU's H.264 encoder, but I turned the bitrate way down to 3.5 megabits per second. I also scaled it from 1440p to 1080p so that it more closely matches what you as a streamer might want to send to Twitch. The challenge with making this video is that I'm going to export the entire thing at a much higher bitrate, so it won't perfectly represent what your stream might look like on Twitch. In fact, it'll probably look a little bit better than what you'd see on Twitch. Let's explain why. First, pay attention to all the pixely animation when I move around. That's a bitrate thing, primarily. It's because I'm recording at a very low bitrate, and I'm using my GPU to do it. Shouldn't it look better? Well, it can't. And let me explain why. On NVIDIA's GPUs, 600 series and higher, there's an idle H.264 encoder sitting there. It's literally doing nothing while you're playing games, but it sees everything the GPU is doing. Every bit that passes through the GPU to your display also passes through that encoder. Software like NVIDIA's Share, which used to be called Shadowplay, and other things such as OBS Studio, which is what I'm using right now, can tap into that encoder and tell it to write every bit that it sees to local storage. And it can do that without much load on the system CPU at all. But there's a catch. There always is. That H.264 encoder is literally just that. It's an encoder. It has no brains in it at all that it can compress video, scale video, or any such thing. It just turns the bits it sees into an H.264 output. The software running on the PC takes that output, muxes it together with the sound from the game, and writes an MPEG-4 file. So how do you make that output look better? Well, you crank the bitrate. If you've used NVIDIA's OEM software, you'll know that they want to default to 50 megabits per second when you're creating files. 50, not 5, not 3.5 or 6.5, 50. The reason? In order for the encoder to write a lower bitrate file, the encoder has to remove detail from the output. It can't compress the detail down like your CPU can. It doesn't have the brains to do that. All it can do is remove detail, which is what you're seeing here. Let's bump this output up to 6.5 megabits per second and play the same map and mission. Hopefully you can see an improvement in the detail when I move around. It should be pretty evident once I get inside the building and start shooting the terrorists. You'll also notice that detail in the distance is a bit higher and more clear. That's also bitrate related. More bits per second help display detail near and far. Why does all of this matter? Well, let's say you want to start streaming your gameplay to Twitch. You have a few choices for how to do that, and the choice you make will have immediate and very clear effects on the quality of your stream's appearance. The first choice is the most expensive, and it's split into two. That's to build a second machine to do your heavy lifting. Most of the professional streamers on Twitch do that. They either build a second machine with a capture card in it, and then they feed a mirrored output from their gaming PC's GPU to that capture card. That second PC compresses the incoming video stream, muxes the audio together with it, and then sends that to Twitch. Or they build a server, they stream to that server from OBS Studio on their gaming machine, and that server compresses everything together and sends that to Twitch. Either way, the results are a great looking stream, and the streamer's gaming PC sees very little load on it at all, basically none. Choice two is to use your gaming machine's CPU to compress the video and send it directly to Twitch. The more detail you want combined with the smaller bitrate output will affect the load on your machine's CPU. In other words, if you want to send a 3.5 megabit per second stream packed full of detail, then your CPU is going to work a lot harder than it would at 6.5 megabits per second and much less detail. Either way, 
your game's performance is going to take a hit because you're working your CPU too hard. Choice three is to use the aforementioned idle H.264 encoder on your GPU. But this has to be done with a clear understanding that your output bitrate will directly dictate what your video looks like. As I mentioned previously, the smaller the bitrate, the less detail that will be seen. Of course, the advantage of this choice is that you'll have nearly no load on your gaming machine and you'll be able to play at higher graphic settings and higher frame rates. Unfortunately, on a single machine, you can't combine these things. It just doesn't work that way. You're either going to have to use your CPU, which in OBS Studio is called X.264, or you're going to use your GPU, which in OBS Studio is called NVENC H.264. Both have their distinct advantages and disadvantages. Please set your expectations accordingly before you start your streaming adventure so that you're not surprised or disappointed by the results. I hope this little lesson has helped. I read all the comments, so if you have any questions about what I just talked about, post them up and I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. Thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you later.